Okay, let's see if this one works. All right. Hi, I'm Danielle. I live in New York, and HPV tried to wreck my life. HPV, just three letters. It stands for human papilloma virus. Okay, now I sound like a doctor. The HPV virus is transmitted through sexual, skin-to-skin -skin contact, whether you've had intercourse or not, and whether you've had one partner or many. Some types of HPV cause genital warts, other types are high risk for leading to cervical cancer. If it can happen to me, it can happen to you. It can happen to anyone. Men too. HPV is not something that people are usually willing to openly talk about or share, but honestly, that's part of the problem. Let's see how they react. Gross. HPV, that's for which BV. You're way behind. I read an article last week saying a scientist had cured HPV. Well, that was a mixed bag of answers. So joking about HPV at least means we're talking about HPV. But can we not do the jokes that put women at fault for having lots and lots of sexual partners or that it's just completely their fault in general? Because that's not accurate. So let's just end the blame and shame game when it comes to stigma with HPV because you and your partner, you could have had this from decades ago and just had no signs or symptoms. Sexual history just does not matter. Simplified? For most people, the infection will clear on its own. For someone like me, which turned into precancerous cells, I had to have those removed before I was given the all clear. However, persistent HPV infection, if left untreated, can lead to cervical cancer. Earlier detection, when it's easier to treat, can help improve a woman's outcome. HPV DNA tests are better than the pap smear because they can detect the types of high-risk HPV that can lead to cervical cancer. 